In this video, I'm gonna share an easy way to create content fast that's actually gonna get engagement online so that you can have more people reaching out to you instead of you reaching out to them. I used this content strategy on LinkedIn in 2019 and 2020 to really for the purpose of attracting business owner clients. And the result of that was getting about one business owner reaching out per week through that LinkedIn messaging app. Then I used this strategy in May of 2020 when we were all stuck at home to start our company's YouTube channel with a focus on retirement clients. And the result of that is as of now, over 16,000 subscribers in less than two years and one to two people requesting an intro call every single day. But the important thing is that it doesn't take a lot of time each week to run either of these strategies. And if you're thinking I've tried content marketing or social media marketing before, but it just takes too much time and I'm not good at it and I didn't see any results, stay tuned because I have some hacks that's gonna make it a lot more easy and effective for you. And I wanna share what you can do to get started if you're interested in social media marketing content marketing or whatever you want to call it so that you can see the results without spending tons of time doing it. My name is Dave and I run Streamline Financial with Tim. And it was just a few years ago, it was 2018, where we started focusing more on marketing, really figuring out what is a better way to, to attract clients to us rather than relying on CPAs and also relying on just word of mouth or referrals but not push marketing where we're pushing our company in front of others in the form of ads or things like that. What we really wanted was pull marketing where we had prospects who were reaching out to us because of what we were putting out online. We actually thought of it not as marketing, but as education because marketing really talks at people, but education is just talking to people. If you agree with that, then we have to make our job as advisors not to talk at people about ourselves or our business. Our job is really to just talk to our prospective clients and their problems and then educate them on the solution. If you want to attract more people to you, think about yourself as a teacher rather than a marketer. To help get you started, I want to share two things with you. And by the way, if you want one actionable tip each week to grow your business, join the 1500 other advisors receiving my weekly email by just clicking on the link in the description below. So the two things that we need to focus on here is one, how do we come up with a good idea for content? And then two, how do we turn that idea into a great post that actually gets people liking it and gets engagement? So number one, how do we come up with a good idea? I'll give you a few ways and I'm gonna keep it high level just to get you started quickly. The first way is to ask yourself, did a client or a prospect ask me a question recently? I'm guessing that they did. So can you simplify and write down the answer to that question? And I'm gonna give you a template on how to make it easy and, and make it more engaging. And as an example, yesterday a client called me up and is interested in starting a 529 for his grandkids. He's actually got eight grandkids and he asked, can the 529 be used for multiple grandkids or do I have to open up eight new accounts? So the way that I could turn that into a piece of content on LinkedIn is writing something like, he wanted to give to his eight grandkids by opening up college savings accounts, but he wasn't thrilled with having eight new accounts to think about. Here's how we simplified the whole process to make it easy for him and then go into the explanation. That's just an example. I don't know if that would be good or not, but I'm just giving you an idea here. Another client had updated their estate plan and has new wills and trusts and POAs and things like that. And they were just asking, how should I organize these things? Now that I have these documents, what, where should I keep them? And the conversation really just went into making sure that the family knew where to go if something happened to them. And that could be a piece of content itself about just the importance of preparing your family and making sure that maybe even your advisor stores digital copies, copies of everything so the family knows what to do in case they pass away unexpectedly or something like that. I'm sure you get multiple questions a day. So write them down in one place and then just once per week, take 30 minutes and then look at the questions and try to come up with a short answer or turn it into story form, kind of like I did with that 529 answer. I did a post in story form of a client who had success reducing the taxes that she paid on her and her mom's IRA. So I'm gonna to link to that or show you a picture of that. It got a pretty good number of views. So that's just an example of how to turn a question into story form. And again, I'll give you the template on how to turn a question or an answer into a, a, an actually in, a post that's getting engagement. But first, for tip number two on how to come up with content ideas fast, this is really the question to ask yourself is, are there any articles that you read throughout the week or throughout the month on financial planning? If you don't, then you probably should. But if you do, and when you're reading, can you turn or really can you sum up the main points of that article into three to six sentences? 
So here's the framework to really sum up an article or to sum up a, a question that you get from, from clients. Sentence number one is, what's the main problem being addressed here? And then sentence number two is, what pain does that problem actually cause? Then sentence number three is, what's the possible solution? And again, it doesn't have to be one sentence each. Maybe it's two sentences, two and two, whatever it might be. And then maybe put a recap at the end, but it's really just about what's the problem, what pain does that cause? And then what's the solution? That's education. I'll give you an example here. I sometimes purposely look at some of the big financial media companies out there and, and what they're writing in their magazines or, or online. Usually I wouldn't read those, but they do such a good job of attracting our clients. So th just the other day I was reading through and, and skimming really, and I saw an article on 10 ways that pre-retirees can make retirement better. And the one thing I saw was that one of the secrets was about deepening social ties outside of work. So if I were to create a post on that, it could say something like, many retirees spend most of their time planning for the money side of retirement, but they end up missing this one important piece or this one essential thing. That's, that could be the problem. And what's the pain that it causes? Well, that could end up, that could end up causing increased feelings of loneliness or something like that. And then just give some context. What they forget to do is make sure they have social connections outside of their working relationships. Those who have their core relationships within their job or career naturally start to lose those connections when they leave work. So do a quick audit of your relationship so that this doesn't happen to you. And then ask yourself, who do I desire to spend more time with in retirement? That's a post in itself. I've got another thing that you can do to make sure that the content is gonna be good and people will actually wanna read it. And by the way, if this sort of thing is helpful, if this video is helpful, please click the like button. I'm really on a mission to help advisors like you, great advisors, by just spreading the news of this channel. So if you can, click the like button or share it with a friend. And if you like this content just on how to become better at social media marketing or content, let me know in the comments so that I know that this is a topic that you wanna see more of. The next step is taking what you wrote and then plugging it into the Hemingway app to see what reading level it's at. And I'll show you an example of that here. We wanna have a sixth grade reading level or lower because when people are scrolling through social media, they don't wanna have to think really when they're consuming content that, that you created. And the Hemingway app does a great job of this. So let's take the example I made up and I'm not even sure if it's a great post, but let's just see what the Hemingway app does. And by the way, I have another really important thing, really a must do after this. So stay for that, but let's see. So currently the readability here is an eight. So what could we do? Three of six sentences are hard to read. So this is one of, one of them. Many retirees spend most of their time planning the money side of their retirement, but end up missing. So to make it simple, again, we don't have to be grammatically correct. We just need people to understand. So that got it down to a grade seven. So many retirees spend time on money side, but they end up missing one essential thing and it could end up causing a feeling of loneliness. What they forget to do is make sure they have social connections outside of their working relationships. So there's some misspellings here and, and things like that. So with a few changes, getting some bullets in there or numbers, it's got down to a grade seven. So that's something simple, skimmable, easy to read. So again, maybe this isn't the best example of a post, but at least to give you an idea of what the Hemingway app is, it's free, so I would give it a shot. Next time you write something, just copy and paste it in there and then see what grade level it's at. Try to get it lower with, with the tips that they have. So the next thing that's a must is we just have to have an eye-catching first line, right? We need people, our target market, to really stop the scroll as they're going through LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever we're posting content. And as an example, here's a LinkedIn post I did just a, a week ago that says she saved this amount with a 20 minute call or something like that. So that's interesting enough to at least stop the scroll for people who are interested in tax savings, right? And again, a lot of people won't be and they'll just go right past it. But this one got a pretty good number of views without any sort of promotion or things like that. Now, if you wanna get a shortcut to creating your own content and get your content game going, check out the monthly content link below this video. And let me know in the comments if you like this video, if it's something you want more, more videos related to content marketing, social media marketing, because I just wanna do videos that is most helpful for you. So thanks in advance, and then I'll see you in the next video. Take care.